When we go out to eat, we never agree on where to go. I want burgers! Pizza! Tacos it is. The one thing we do agree on is, we all want unlimited high-speed data. That's why we switch to Metro PCS. Stop by Metro PCS with the whole family and get four lines with unlimited LTE data for just $100, period. Metro PCS. Wireless. Figure it out. Coverage not available in some areas. Offers require reporting of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network. During congestion, the fraction of customers using more than 35 gigs per month may notice reduced speeds. Video streams up to 40p. No tethering. See store for details and terms and conditions. Welcome to Define You Radio. Class is in session with your host, the Southern Belle of Bold, Valencia Griffin Wallace. Are you ready to unapologetically build your confidence, achieve goals, and design a life worth living? Learn the life lessons and strategies to define your life, money, and business. Pins and papers ready. Class is now in session. And welcome to Define You Radio classes in session, where you get the tips, strategies, and life lessons from those who have defined their life. I am your host, the Southern Belle of Bold, Valencia Griffin Wallace. Make sure you follow and connect with the show on Define You Radio's Facebook page for updates and more. You know, we are on countdown for Define You Live, Crown Up Edition. I am extra excited. The speakers and the vendors are lined up and ready. I hope you guys are coming out. To find out more about Define You Live, just go to www.defineyoulive.com and get your tickets while they last. Guys, I think we have like two VIP tickets left. And that is in Houston, Texas, November 11th. You can also go to the Find You Live Crown Up Edition on Facebook and see some of the awesome videos and learn a little bit more about the speakers and vendors. So this month on the show, we're talking about being intentional and on purpose. And in order to do both, you have to be mentally tough. That's what tonight's show is about. Why do you need to be mentally tough? Because the more intentional you get in your life and the more on purpose you are in your life, things are going to happen. That's why people give up. They aren't tough enough, like the song says. So pens and papers ready. Class is now in session with me. And that is right. I said with me. There is no guest tonight. Our guests that we had planned had technical difficulties, and a while ago, I was actually challenged and asked the question why I never do any shows by myself, because you guys know if you've been listening for a while, I always have a guest, but, you know, what was I going to do, cancel the show and, and punk out? Nope, we're talking mental toughness like a queen. Who better to deliver that message than me? So if you guys are joining Define You Radio for the first time, let me tell you a little bit about me. I guide women to define their unapologetic confidence, design unique goals, strategies, and actually execute the ultimate plan to achieve personal and professional success. In short, I am the drill sergeant when it comes to goals, confidence, and basically getting things done. No excuses, no shame, no guilt. We just get it done. I'm also an international, a two-time best-selling author, and of course, radio show host of Define You Radio. With that being said, I don't want to waste time just rambling on. You guys want to find out more about me, connect with me on Facebook at Valencia Griffin Wallace, or better yet, go to the website, ValenciaGWallace.com. So tonight we're talking about mental toughness, mental toughness like a queen. Do you really need to be mentally tough? What exactly does that mean? A lot of times we focus on having the right mindset, right? We always hear about, you know, you need a positive mindset, a good mindset, 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 mindset. It's almost cliche to where we let it go in one ear 
and out the other. So honestly, you could have the right mindset and not get anywhere in life. Uh, the mindset will get you up in the morning, maybe carry you through five, 10 minutes of your day. But then what happens? You get on the road and something happens to completely mess up your positive mindset. A mindset has more to do with your attitude, but not what you actually need to sustain to be successful. The problem with the mindset you always have to set your mind. Mental toughness is a, more of an automatic thing. There's no setting. It's, it's already there. You already have, either you have it or you don't, but it is something you could develop. So let's talk a little bit about what is mental toughness. Well, to me, mental toughness is so many levels above mindset. And guys, I would love to hear your thoughts. You could either inbox me on Facebook or you could leave comments on the Define You Radio's Facebook page. So like I said, mental toughness is levels above mindset. Mental toughness is that resilience, that bounce back, that not give up thing that is so far beyond your thoughts. It's the ability to actually get out of your thinking mind because you know what needs to be done and you just do it, whatever it is. Now, like I said, the right mindset can get your day going, but mental toughness will keep it that way. Some people may disagree, but I want you guys to think about this. Most of us had difficulties, struggles in life and everything else long before we even knew what in the world a mindset was, right? I know I did. I was mentally tough and I wasn't worried about being a positive person or, or anything about the right mindset. And frankly, at that time, I didn't even know what it was. I just knew I was tough and things had to be done and I had to be the one to do it. Mental toughness is that mentality that says no matter what, I'm not going to break. Why? Because it has to be done. Here's a quote. Y'all know I love my quotes. So mental toughness is when you can find fuel in an empty tank. And that's from unknown. One of my unknown anonymous quotes that I found randomly on the internet. That means that you're going to push the car if necessary. You're going to make, you're going to drive on fumes is if necessary, because mental toughness tells you, you have somewhere to go. The gas doesn't matter. You, it has to be done. It's that, that thing that makes you go when you, when you think you can't go anymore, that's mental toughness. Frankly, it, it really has little very little to do with your mindset. It's that thing that makes you smile when you want to cry, but you hold it together anyway. That's mental toughness. When you go to work, when you want to stay home in your bed and break down, that's mental toughness. So let's face it. We've all woken up on the wrong side of the bed. If you know anything about me, I am not a morning person. So frankly, every morning is the wrong side of the bed, regardless of what side. And I'm pretty sure my husband can vouch for that part. Some of us lose the battle before we even get out of the bed. And in order to be the best version of you, you must have mental toughness. That's like not negotiable. You're going to get out of the bed anyway. Why? Goes back to my original point. Things have to be done. Life will throw people, places, and things at you that will rock your positive mindset. And I'm doing my air quotes right off the I can do it pedestal. Mental toughness makes you push through all that. That's the real difference between those who make it and those who give up. Mental toughness. Now, to have mental toughness like a queen it's the same, but it's a little different because women, queens, we, we deal with 
different stuff. We have different um, spices and ingredients in, in our gumbo of mental toughness, as I would like to say. We do have to d- almost develop a I don't care because I have to push through this. And I have to hold my head up high because you guys know the saying, you don't hold up, hold your head up high, your crown will fall. As a queen, that's not an option. That's not an option. You have to push through and hold your head up high while you're doing it. Because you have, we realize that what's in front of me is more important than how I feel in this moment because feelings are temporary. Feelings are temporary, honestly. But what it, what you have to do may be that thing that changes your life or the difference between your you living in your history versus pushing forward to your destiny. Queens push through. They push forward. Because to even get that title as a queen, that's an earned title. That's an earned title. That means you've been through some stuff and you've pushed through some stuff regardless of how you felt that day. Bills had to be paid. Jobs had to be clocked in at whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And you may be wondering at this point, okay, Valencia, I want to be mentally tough. I need to be mentally tough because this positive mindset thing is just really not working for me. So I'm going to give you some little tips that I've learned along this journey of being a queen. (laughs) Mental toughness is something that has to be developed like a muscle. Like you have to develop it. You have to practice not breaking. You have to practice getting out your, your feelings. You have to practice constantly doing those things that you don't want to do. Because it has to be done. And pretty soon that mental toughness will be automatic, like opening your eyes when you first wake up. And I know this is almost like an oxymoron. I'm contradicting what I said, but I'm going to drop it, drop this tip too. You have to start off with the right mindset. Yes, I know. I said the right mindset. Now, listen, listen to what I'm going to say. You do have to start with the right mindset. The right mindset is like putting on socks when you have tennis shoes on. Now, you could still wear the tennis shoes, but the, the right mindset will make those tennis shoes a little bit more comfortable. And I hope you guys get that. Y'all know I love my analogies. Another thing with mental toughness, believe that you will make it no matter what. You have to believe that you're going to make it no matter what. Failing is not an option. You learn your lesson, you do it again until until you win, until you could do it right. You have to believe that you could do it. It's a it's a lot of things that I've done that has surprised me that I've done those things and and accomplished those things. But I also went into it with the attitude that I'm going to make it no matter what. Follow up with, I have to make it no matter what. Y'all get that? Believe that you're going to make it no matter what. And then follow up with that hashtag, amen. I'm, I have to make it no matter what. If you're in sales and, and like with Avon or one of those companies and, and how much product you sell is the difference between you being able to pay your light bill or not. You have to believe you could do it. And then you have to know you have to do it and watch it get done. That's mental toughness. A lot of you guys know I I do my kickboxing thing. I do my workout thing. Um, I have to go into it with the right mindset. I do. Let's get this workout on. 
But then guess what? I get tired. I get frustrated. My legs start hurting. Sweat coming in my ears and my eyes. I'm ready to give up. That right mindset that I left the house with normally is gone 10, 15 minutes into a hard workout. And I start debating with myself if I really even want to finish. Do I need to? Do I really need to? Who's going to know if I don't finish? Who's going to know if if I quit? I'm going to know. I'm going to know. Remember, I said that mental toughness has to be developed like a muscle. It has to become an automatic thing. So my mental toughness kicks in. It has to kick in. Otherwise, I'm going to quit and go home. But that mental toughness says, girl, you're not done. You have a little bit left. Who's going to stop you but you? Who, who, who's going to cheer for you but you? Who is this workout benefiting but you? That's that mental toughness. Sometimes you got to be your own little butthole coach screaming in your ear saying you better not quit and you better not cry because that's not what queens do. See, being a queen, you, you earn that title and you constantly have to fight and improve your mental toughness to yourself and to, to the world in order for you to keep it. Every day, I like to challenge and and push myself because a lot of times I'll think I'm done. I'm tired. I'm ready to give up. But because I've spent the whole 40 years, because I do believe I was born mentally tough, I spent 40 years working on this muscle. So it's so automatic that when that positive mindset goes out the window and that mental toughness kicks in, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to finish those workouts. I don't care how much it hurts. I'm going to stay up late and get things done for my business. I don't care how tired I am. It has to be done. That's mental toughness. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. You probably already have it and just don't even know. You probably already have that mental toughness and don't recognize it for what it is. Think about some of the worst things in life that you went through that you didn't think you were going to make it. You're on your knees crying and praying, Lord, I don't think I'm going to make it. You're telling everybody I'm not going to make it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And guess what? You look back and it's already done. You made it. You you made it. I don't know that I can make it another day at work. And then next thing you know, that your day at work is done. That's mental toughness, whether you recognize it or not. These are facts. Mental toughness is that, that thing that push you to finish that, that eight-hour shift, that 12-hour shift. Mental toughness is that thing that after you worked all day, dealt with your kids and your spouse and home duties and everything else that makes you stay up a little bit longer to work on your business or to go to the gym or to read that book that you need to do for school. That's mental toughness. It didn't matter how much you wanted to give up and give in. You didn't. See, you already have it. And mental toughness is not some exclusive thing that only exists in in the elite. It already exists in you. Pretty soon, whether you can get through something or not will be a question in your head. But you know you can make it. You know you could put that extra 10 minutes in at the gym. 
You know, you could work on your business. Like I said earlier, after you pull the shift at work, you know, these things, you've done it. And you know, you could do all of that, holding your head high, like a queen. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys understand that mental toughness. Mental toughness is that thing that said, Valencia, guest or not, it's Tuesday night live, so to speak. You have to do a show. That's mental toughness. And I don't know how many more shows I'm going to do with just me talking. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on on what you would like to hear me talk about. I talk about a lot on my Facebook Live. We talk about setbacks and setups and all of those things. We talk about breaking down before your breakthrough, or better yet, not breaking down at all. Yesterday, I talked a little bit about people giving you the side eye. And for my international listeners, side eye is that annoying look people give give you. I don't know how else to explain it. Side eye comes from that place of envy. Somebody wants something you have. Somebody is jealous of something you have or something they think you have. I don't know how else to, to say that. And that's why you need to be mentally tough, that you're like, I don't care about who doesn't support me. I don't care who side eyes me or anything like that. It's a reason they're on the side of you. Mental toughness is that thing that makes you push through and be a one queen show if you have to be or a one king show. Part of that is acting as if you are in total control. People that are mentally tough, whether they're breaking down or not, normally you wouldn't know. Normally you wouldn't know. They hold it together. And if they do need to break down, they do so in private. It's not that people that are mentally tough don't break down but they hold it together until they could privately break down. I guess that's the best way of, of saying it. They tend not to worry about things that don't have a future impact. One of the things I say, if it won't matter five minutes from now, five years from now, then you really have to let it go. We put too much time and energy into things and and people and that we won't even remember a month from now. Think about something somebody said to you. And I'm not talking about family or someone close to you because we tend to remember those things way longer. But some random person, a random coworker, most likely a month from now, you won't remember it. And A year from now, you won't remember who said it. Mentally tough people, we learned that our our past was to train us and to prepare us for where we are now. Your past is not a weakness, and it didn't happen by accident. Everything that has happened to you in life up to this point prepared you to be at this point. Wherever you are, your history, it was like class was in session. You learned from experiences. You learned from struggles. You learned from all of those things. And that's why you are where you are right now. But mentally tough people understand that it was not a crutch. It was not uh, something that happened to you. It happened for you. Because I could tell you guys 100% honest, I don't know if I would not have had the history that I had, that I would be as strong and mentally tough as I am today. I don't know that. 
the one thing I do know was those struggles that, that I had, especially early on in life, is exactly why I am who I am today, a mentally tough queen. I'm going to tell you something else about mentally tough people. There is something I often post about queens empower queens. We fix each other's crowns, so on and so forth, all of that stuff. Um, And it may sound cliche to some people, you know, that doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, people that are mentally tough, people that know who they are, what they're about and where they're going, they can celebrate other people's success, period. Because they know at the end of the day, if they want certain things, they are tough enough to go and get it. So someone that's mentally tough and a queen is not going to envy somebody else's uh, success or their wins in life or whatever. Because one thing about me, I know if it's something I want, I'm going to go get it. So why would I envy something I know I can have? That's like envying a car that's just like the car I have or a car that I have the ability to buy. We don't whine. We don't complain and we don't criticize. We get stuff done and we move on. We compete against ourselves. And I'm going to tell you guys, that is not always a a good thing. Sometimes being mentally tough, we're, we're always, we push ourselves past limits. And I don't know if you guys do this, but when I go hard for too long, when I, when I go too much, compete against myself just a little bit too much, I'll get sick. My body will make me take a rest. So that's a good and a bad thing. But part of part of being mentally tough like a queen, we recognize what we've already done. We're proud of ourselves. We are impressed with ourselves. And that kind of puts the uh stamp the seal of approval on our mental toughness, so to speak, or the, the concrete. Our mental toughness is in concrete because we've seen what we could do when we push past that mindset thing. We're proud of ourselves. It's not cocky. I say that all the time. It is not cocky. It's knowing that you've made it through some things other people would not have and did not. This is going to be the the nail on the head as I start to wrap up tonight's Mental Toughness Like a Queen show. People that are mentally tough have gratitude. They count their blessings. They know that the things that they have and that they are able to do, everybody doesn't have that. Everybody's not able to do that. And they are thankful for that. One thing about gratitude and and being thankful for what you've already done, what you already have, it brings appreciation and it opens up new blessings and new things for you to be grateful for. You feel better at the end of the day, knowing that you you have all these things, you've done all these things, you're grateful for all these things, and it didn't break you. That's what mental toughness like a queen is. We get stuff done, and let me not leave out my kings, I'm sorry. So I guess I should have said mental toughness like royalty. We get stuff done whether we feel like it or not. And we hold our head up high. We don't complain about it. We do it. That's what mental toughness is. Now, I do encourage you guys to try to affirm yourself and and start your day off with the right mindset. But if you don't, have that after 10, 15 minutes, you, you, you going to get it done anyway, because you are mentally tough. 
pat yourself on the back for that. Plenty of people call in sick (laughs) at work, in life. But those of us that make it, it's because we're mentally tough. So celebrate that. Celebrate your mental toughness and work on building it up. So with that being said, guys, I hope to see you all at Define You Live this year. I'm going to wrap up tonight's show. I hope um, you guys learned a few things and, and learned that your mental toughness is something that you develop and continue with that. So pens and papers down. Class is officially over. Make sure you join us next week, same time and same place. We're having a a very uh, powerful lady on who's going to tell her story of being borderline homeless to now having a baking empire. It's quite fascinating. So with that being said, guys, y'all have a great week. And remember, only you can define you. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Define You Radio. Class is in session. Connect with the show at www.defineuradio.com. Pins and papers down. Class is over. When we go out to eat, we never agree on where to go. I want burgers! Pizza! Tacos it is. The one thing we do agree on is we all want unlimited high-speed data. That's why we switch to MetroPCS. Stop by MetroPCS with the whole family and get four lines with unlimited LTE data for just $100, period. MetroPCS. Wireless. Figure it out. Coverage not available in some areas. Offers require reporting of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network. During congestion, the fraction of customers using more than 35 gigs per month may notice reduced speeds. Video streams up to 40p. No tethering. See store for details and terms and conditions. When we go out to eat, we never agree on where to go. I want burgers! Pizza! Tacos it is. The one thing we do agree on is we all want unlimited high-speed data. That's why we switch to MetroPCS. Stop by MetroPCS with the whole family and get four lines with unlimited LTE data for just $100, period. MetroPCS. Wireless. Figure it out. Coverage not available in some areas. Offers require reporting of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network. During congestion, the fraction of customers using more than 35 gigs per month may notice reduced speeds. Video streams at up to 40p. No tethering. See store for details and terms and conditions.